Jonathan Macy, are Wall Street firms and their CEOs too big to jail? Of course they are. It's not just Wall Street firms. The big accounting firms are too big to jail. S&P getting sued civilly by the Justice Department, too big to jail. We have an extremely concentrated anti-competitive financial system, uh, and uh, it's, the, it sends the orders to, Wall Street, to, to Washington. It's not the other way around these days. Well, after the whole financial meltdown from Goldman Sachs, one of Wall Street's leading firms, the only person really in the judicial spotlight is the fabulous Fab Touré, who sold faulty mortgage bonds. Has Goldman got its reputation back following that, or will it be further besmirched this summer when we start hearing from the fabulous Fab? Well, I don't think, uh, I don't think Mr. Torre is going to do any great favors during his testimony for, for Goldman Sachs. It's extremely common for the government, and I think this is unfortunate, to go after the sort of lowest person uh, on the hierarchy uh, when they prosecute these corporate crimes. Um, I think that, that uh, Goldman does have a reputation. It's just not the reputation that, that one might think they would want. It's the reputation for sharp elbows, cutting good deals for themselves, if you're on their side in a transaction, you're likely to make money. If you're a counterparty, watch out. That doesn't seem to bother Mr. Warren Buffett, who you write about in your book, The Death of Corporate Reputation. He recently took a whole lot of Goldman stock. Why doesn't it bother him? Well, I think that M Mr. Buffett is in a very enviable position, which is he has his own reputation, and nobody thinks of him in the same sentence as they do Goldman Sachs. They're not tied at the hip, and he's managed to be a little bit Teflon here. He makes tons of money on Goldman, uh, but he uh, disassociates himself from the, the what's going on behind the curtain where uh, the dirty tricks occur, where the money is actually made. And speaking of dirty tricks and former Goldman people, let's talk about John Corzine. Another report came out about his misdealings, his misguidance over at MF Global. Is he too close to the government? He was a senator and a government to go to jail for what he did at MF Global? Well. He has two things going for him. One is arrogance and stupidity are not criminal acts, and that works greatly to his advantage. And he has a lot of friends in Washington, which also works to his advantage these days. We are in an era, hopefully temporary, of crony capitalism, which is something I talk about in my book, uh, The Death of Reputation. But is the SEC getting better post-crisis and post-Madoff? You see them getting closer and closer to SAC capital head Steve Cohen. Are they getting better? Uh, well, I think we have to distinguish, you got the SEC, which is not getting better. The Justice Department, the U.S. Attorney, the guys who, uh, uh, who are suing S&P, the guys who are, uh, who are tightening the noose around the folks at SAC Capital, uh, they're, they're going after, you know, good old bread and butter fraud, like insider trading rings. Uh, and it seems to me they're getting people's attention and, and, and doing a good job. Um, we're obviously, we're having a change of... Uh, of leadership of the SEC, uh, the, the, uh, the commission's been languishing. Uh, the only thing that's really working there is the revolving door, which seems to operate with great efficiency. And speaking of that revolving door, Mary Shapiro is going from the SEC, now she's on the board at GE as well as another financial firm. Is there any way we can stop this revolving door? And how deleterious is it to the system? These people need to make money after serving in the government. There has to be a reason uh, for them to want to go to the government. Maybe they can get the payoff after. Right. I mean, so what they, it's like the old adage about uh, people with psychiatric problems. The first step to recovery is recognizing the disease. There's no sense that this is really a problem. They think at the SEC it's an image problem, and Mary Shapiro leaves the SEC. She can do whatever she wants, but she has to say, I'm going to be careful. Uh, certainly, uh, there, most people who are in the kind of SEC uh, f enclave uh, or uh, cabal take the view that uh, Mary Jo White, the new uh, commissioner who's very able, tons of experience, that the revolving door is not a problem because she's so able. And maybe that's the case, but it leads to structural biases, thinking inside the box, never thinking that that, uh, you know, that these big firms can really do, uh, really mean to do wrong. And are they thinking that they need to be softer on the, uh, the bad players because they might one day want to work for them? Well, they want to show that they uh, are reasonable people and, and that uh, they were, are team players because that's what will help them in the great afterlife, which is where we cash in after a few years at the SEC.